Hello everyone and welcome back to DCS World where I'm going to try out some of the VSN flyable aircraft mods available on the forums. I will post a link to the forum page where they are briefly described and the download links are available. And we can see them here. They are freeware. Uh, VSN Eurofighter, VSN F100, VSN uh, F104G, the F105, F35. Now that one, uh, the version number is higher than my current version number for the game. And that's because I simply don't have enough space on my uh, drive to install the update. So yeah, uh, that probably is iffy. Uh, but F4, F80C, that's an older version. And so is the Eurofighter and the F84 and the Gripen. So we'll have to see about those. The G91Y and the YF12A. Now there are others, but I decided not to install them for now. Uh, these were the ones I, were, well, I was mostly interested in. And the the mods all require the Flaming Cliffs pack, so Flaming Cliffs 3. So uh, it's freeware, but it does require a payware expansion in order to make them work. And it's possible that there are other caveats that I did not pay attention to. So I will we will have to see whether they work or not. I'm going to go through them. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to go through all of them in this video. I'm going to start with the Eurofighter and just work my way down, see what works. And if they don't work, I'll delete them, obviously. Uh, so yeah, uh, first of all, we have to make sure to configure them, configure the controls properly for each of them. OK, I think I've got the basic setup. I've got the axes, the landing gear, the flaps, the brakes, the air brakes, the throttle, and my trim. So I think that's ready to go for a basic flight test of these planes. And I'm obviously not going to be doing the full startup procedure. They're not clickable cockpits anyway, I think. This is the arrangement. Eurofighter Typhoon, runway, Nevada, random, cloudy. OK, so we are flying at Nevada because it seems like a good place to test flight things. And we are in the Eurofighter Typhoon. And, well, it's a very nice cockpit. I can't verify that this is how the Eurofighter Typhoon cockpit looks like. I do like the analog style, personally, so I'm not going to complain. And here we go. We're just going to do a flight around. But certainly, it looks nice. Okay, we are off the ground. And climbing fairly well. Apparently it dumped me in a Royal Saudi Air Force livery. Wouldn't have been my first choice, but here we are. No weapons attached. But when you let it do things randomly, this is what you get. So climbing performance is as you see it. It's super good actually, the climbing performance. Very impressed. And if I take it out of Afterburner, I do like the exhausts. Interesting. Has a bit of a fly-by-wire feel, as one would expect. Air brakes. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to happen, but uh, the key didn't do anything. Let me try B. Oh, it has up there. I, I thought I assigned the air brake key, but apparently that didn't take. So we do have an air brake there. The speed tape on the HUD is sort of clipped, and that's not convenient. Okay. Uh, not as low as I wanted to go. Let's just follow. The script, uh, the strip isn't as developed as I remember it. Uh, am I missing some of the scenery? Okay. Uh, okay, it's a little bit harder to trim out than I thought it was. 
It's not as fly by wire as some of the planes and flights in, I'll tell you that. Those get sticky. This is not nearly as sticky as those. Okay, well, we're out of city, so it's not as much fun here. Uh, let's go for a full speed test before I take it down for landing. Okay, leveling out at very low speed. Well, directly over Las Vegas right now. Just gaining speed a bit. Oh, we must have passed the speed of sound. <laughs> Sound is uh, not working as well in front now. Let's take a look inside. Uh, the HUD doesn't have a Mach number, it looks like. We do have the Mach number on the main speed dial. We're at 1.15 and climbing. Fuel flow is dropping down as I would expect. So the numbers seem fine to me. I'm generally big on the numbers department. It should have a max speed of Mach 2, and we're at Mach 1.9 right now. We're climbing again. I'll try and moderate that, though the trim is a little bit sensitive. Its service ceiling is 65,000. Uh, I think with the indicated airspeed as it is, and uh, our fuel flow as it is, that makes sense to me. Mach 2. But we are going down. Let's uh, try and coax it up to 65,000 and see how fast we can go. Uh, it's losing speed. It lost Mach 2 as it climbs, as you would expect. And I point this out, you know, you know, you might think it's obvious, but then, then I have the planes and flights in that don't make it so obvious, right? Uh, some of them radically overperform, so I, I don't take anything for granted. Uh, Fifty-five thousand feet, basically holding a Mach two. I don't think it's going to go any faster. Yeah, I mean we're level. It's not really climbing up on the speed. I mean, you can see the tape there, it's like, flat, not doing anything there. Okay, uh, we'll just check out 65,000 and see how that goes. Well, we need to go back down soon. We only have 1,800 left. So, yeah, we're losing speed. It'll get to 65,000 if I coax it, but... Now, we're, uh... Where are we? <laughs> We're over here somewhere, uh, way to the north of everything. Okay, so can I land with my fuel? 1,700 pounds. I mean, it should be fine. Should be fine. Wikipedia has a brakes off to takeoff acceleration time of less than 8 seconds and brakes off to supersonic acceleration of less than 30 seconds. I believe it. Uh, I think it could do that. Okay, well, I uh, looked for a Eurofighter Typhoon cockpit, and yeah, this doesn't look like one. <laughs> a Eurofighter Typhoon cockpit is just three screens. And again, I, I, I'm an analog person. I like, I like dials, but uh, every image seems to be three screens, so. Three multi-function displays, and then plus uh, extra on top. So yeah, be aware, this is not an accurate rendition in that respect. Got the brakes out. It doesn't really have a lurch when you deploy the brakes. At least that's something that I would expect. Okay, gear down. Well, it's down. Alright. 
Oh, that tape is the wrong way around. Shoot, I'm going way faster than I thought I was. Okay, we are down. Yeah, the speed tape is reversed, so... Okay, but we survived it. Alright, so that was the Eurofighter Typhoon. It actually has the flaps on the Delta wings. That... I don't... I mean... It's unusual. Uh, I don't know if the Eurofighter Typhoon actually has that. Has them going down like that, as if they were flaps for landing. I mean, they would provide extra drag. But that would cause the plane to pitch down quite a lot, unless the canards were doing something. Flaps on wings, you know, uh, work well. Because they're close to the center line, not this far back. Okay, anyway, I want to test the next thing, which is the F-100. Okay, now starting the flight with the F-100. This is for 2.7.8. The Eurofighter Typhoon was for 2.5.6, so it's an older sort of mod. Okay. Um, it seems very jittery. And it's the same cockpit. I'm not too sure why it's the same cockpit. It is a different external model, that's working. And it's not jittery here. But it's very jittery in here. I did not have like G-Force's head shake, I've not got the track IR active. Um, well, while we're here, let me just try and take off of it. Oh, okay, it stabilizes when I throttle up. Come on. Okay, that was maybe too early for it. That's surprising. That was very fast though. We were going like 160 knots already. There's no force feedback, no head movement by G-forces in the cockpit. Well, it's still jittery. Oh, well, once we move, it's okay. Okay, well, I'm pouring on the juice and we will hope that we can take off. But it's the same cockpit. Now, if you know that I've got something wrong here and that's why I have the same cockpit, then uh, please tell me. But, you know, maybe this is how it is. Again, freeware is freeware. I, I'm not expecting anything in particular. Okay, 180 seemed fine. <laughs> One would hope. Alright, and outside. This feels a lot heavier than the Eurofighter Typhoon, I'll tell you that. I mean, uh, I'm not talking about mass. I'm talking about just the... Uh, it's maneuverability, so... Looks nice and shiny. It's certainly not accelerating more than I would expect. It is about right. I made a model of the F-100 for Kerbal Space Program, and actually this is not flying too much differently than that, interestingly enough. Even the takeoff speed, I thought it was unreasonable in Kerbal Space Program, but actually this isn't too far off. Let me just see about the fuel consumption. Well, the only uh, we've got two different engine and fuel gauges, even though there's only one engine. So only one fuel flow gauge is actually functional here. Well, at least that makes sense. And yeah, that's afterburner for you. External model is great. That's a fuel probe sticking out there. Does it need to stick out all the time? <laughs> that can't be great, right? I can see why it needs it though. So the maximum speed is supposed to be Mach 1.4. For a while there I didn't think we were going to get anywhere near Mach 1, but now we're really accelerating, so... Probably we need to go a little bit higher though. The HUD's certainly different, and 
makes sense that that's the kind of HUD that we would have at this stage with the F-100. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. Audibly. Or inaudibly. Wish they had somehow stretched the Nevada map over to Edwards. That would have been nice. I mean, that's quite an expanse though. That's like double the area, but... Still, I mean, the map, the, it actually covers the area here. You know, this is California and Edwards would be down here somewhere. Well, performance-wise, this seems to be going about right. We are at Mach 1.28-ish. And Mach 1.3 there. And it's got a max of 1.4. Well, we don't have a whole lot of time with our current fuel consumption. And it'll probably top out as expected at Mach 1.4. We're a hair's breadth away from it right now. At almost 30,000 feet. And yeah, I'll, I'll just take it. It performs about right. And I'll start turning around. It feels a little bit stiff, uh, but then again, we're going at Mach 1.4, so maybe that's just the reason. Okay, well, I definitely can't keep it up at this speed. We've only got 700 pounds left. Don't know how much of that is usable around here, but uh, well, we should be able to start descending now. Okay, coming in like the shuttle again, and I'll try and land at Nellis, so I can't really see Nellis below the clouds right now. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there are more buildings on the Las Vegas Strip than what they have here. Right? Certainly, in even X-Plane 12, there are more than this, and definitely in Flight Sim, with its photogrammetry. Okay. okay, I put out the air brake and the airframe is shuddering. Unlike with the Eurofighter Typhoon, there's definitely an impact to putting out the air brake here. And it's a bottom air brake. Fuel 500. Yeah, I know fuel about the fuel. 500. This needs a lot of speed to stay flying, apparently. Okay. And we have landed. All right. Okie dokie. I mean, it's beautiful on the outside. I, I like the Century series and uh, VSN Mod seems to like the Century series as well, so that's nice. And speaking of which, next up will be the F-104. And that'll be the last for this video, and then we'll continue with the rest of them in subsequent videos. But yes, here we are. Uh, I'm not too sure how the wheels... Uh, the nose wheel steering works here. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to review the nose wheel steering at the, separately because <laughs> that that isn't happening right now. Okay, well, right now if we stop completely, we do not have that shaking head issue that we had at the beginning. So maybe that was just something that's gonna happen right at the beginning, but otherwise it's not a problem. All right, on to the F-104. Okay, so here we are with the VSN F-104G. And, well, the cockpit's different. It's much more customized. I am familiar with the F-104G cockpit from Flight Sim, and that was a Sim Skunk Works model that was very good. Uh, this uh, is a approximation, but it isn't quite as good, obviously. Uh, oh, 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 small wheelbase, small wheelbase. Okay... Oh, okay, well, yeah, it's tough to take off with an F-104, and this is definitely that situation, but we'll survive somehow. Okay. Up goes the landing gear. 
Let's just double check. Yes. All right. Well, it looks good on the exterior. It accelerates fine. I'm not even at full throttle, actually. I mean, uh, we don't have that much fuel, so we're going to have to expedite this. I'm now at full throttle. Uh, its climb rate is definitely not like uh, the Eurofighter Typhoon. Ooh. Okay, it does the flat spinny thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's basically what it's supposed to do. So... Let me see if I can get it back. Uh, oh, okay, no, definitely not. Yeah. Anyway, but that's what it's supposed to do, so it's fine. It's fine. Let's just restart that. So yeah, a more custom cockpit, more accurate cockpit than the other two. The HUD is the same as the Eurofighter Typhoon HUD. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I think so. And the visibility is not great on it. Okay, I've got lots of speed now. Probably more than the landing gear should be taxed with. But. Let's see... Well, we got the right fuel quantity indicators. That, I mean, it's. It, I think it's got all the dials in the right place, actually. Or the ones I remember most important stuff so very good I mean I'm glad it's not the same cockpit as the previous planes it's shuddering a bit as we get close to Mach 1 that's actually quite satisfying probably ought to and we go past Mach 1 we're at 18,000 feet only technically should do it at a higher altitude I'm not at full throttle But I did have some afterburner on, it looks like. So that's realistic. And how it looks like from the outside. I'll have to check later whether we can load up the external tanks on it. Actually, the reason I decided to take a look at the VSM mods, I had known about them before, but uh, had forgotten to check them out. Uh, but there was a video posted with the F-104 with the rocket engine in the tail, duplicating the Chuck Yeager uh, failure and uh, crash, the accident. And so, yeah, saw that little video posted by uh, Eagle Dynamics and... Uh, Eagle Dynamics was uh, reposting uh, somebody else's work there, uh, but and I forgot the person. Sorry about that. But yeah, that got me to check it out. So I guess there's a mod for this F-104 that adds that rocket engine, and so maybe I should find that. <laughs> that would be interesting. We're at Mach 1.4 at 31,000. We should probably climb more. We're probably using a lot of extra fuel. Temporary overspeed indicator, huh? That's interesting. Mach 1.9. Well, I'll expect an overspeed warning soon. Lots of shuddering. Mach 2. 55,000 feet. Well, now we're beyond what it could do, I think. I probably couldn't climb and get to Mach 2.1. When is it actually going to give me an overspeed warning? Mach 2.2 .2 apparently. 68,000 feet now. And the Mach cone is really tight now. So yeah, overperforming a bit. Oh, slow. Okay, so it's giving me an overspeed warning past Mach 2.2 now. The, the... Oh, and it's uh, conked out. Alright. I have lost the engine. We are... Well, we've gone a ways. Did I run out of fuel? No. We've got 2,000 pounds left, which, is should, which should be enough to get back if we have the engine working, actually. Well, none of the... Stuff is clickable, so I can't really click anything. 
engine start. Right shift home. Let's try it. Right shift home. No. Fuel boost pumps fail. Okay. Okay, well, I, I don't think there's anything that I can do about it except for try to land dead stick with it. It's very quiet back here now. It's like reversed. Got sound up front. No sound in the back. <laughs> it's like reversed. Okay, we should see. Yeah, okay, the glandier does come down. Now the landing speed for the F-104 without engine because it requires engine bleed air to generate extra lift. Without the engines, it's like 220 knots. <laughs> so, uh, I probably have to keep it going more or less like this. And try and pull up here. Yeah. Well, it's got more lift than it probably ought to. Oh, it was rough. But... Oh, oh, oh no, don't tip. Uh, a little wheelbase. Oh, it's tipping, it's tipping. Ah, boop, boop. Oh, I didn't need that. Okay. It was more forgiving than it probably ought to be. That's a shame. I sort of wanted the Chuck Yeager, you know, flames and all that business. But all right. Well, we actually landed the sucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll see if we can do that with the one in the rocket engine in the tail. Hopefully, if I can find that. So anyway, that was the F-104. I think I'll leave it there. That was exciting enough for me. So yes, those were the first three uh, planes from the VSN flyable airplanes packs that I am going to test and I'll continue testing others in subsequent videos. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you next time.